Dear friends, welcome to the Wednesday Word on Wednesday the 23rd of November. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. That's Psalm 126 verses 1 to 3. Now we don't know exactly what occasioned this psalm, but it was probably the return from exile in Babylon of the people of Israel after 60 years. The return to the land, and in particular the return to the city of Jerusalem, called Zion here, was like a dream come true. I wonder if you have had the experience of something which you've long hoped and prayed for coming true. You can't stop laughing. You want to sing for joy. And everyone else notices the Lord has done great things for her. I remember the very first Alpha course that we ran in my previous parish in Burford. It was a very traditional parish that hadn't had a gospel ministry for many years and had done very, very little outreach. Well, we also in that first Alpha course had a great turnout of about 40 or so guests, many of whom were not believers. My dear friend and prayer partner, Nick, who is now with the Lord, had been praying for this to happen for many, many years. And he was so overcome with joy after the first evening that he literally danced up and down at Burford High Street, singing for joy. And it was amazing, an amazing, it was an amazing time when a number of people came to faith and it marked the beginning of a revival in the fortunes of that church. Now, I think similarly about our current Alpha course. We've had a consistent group of about 40 guests coming along, 25 of whom came to our Alpha Day on Saturday. I encourage them to pray a prayer of commitment at the end of that day and ask for a booklet if they'd done so. And six booklets were taken. Praise God for that. All the others allowed us to pray with them that God would fill them with the Holy Spirit and continue to do his work in their lives. As well as this wonderful work of God's Spirit in the lives of our guests, it really has been a whole church alpha as we had prayed, with many of the church family contributing, whether to the setup and takedown every Thursday evening, catering, washing up, leading groups, hosting, praying faithfully. And it's been particularly good to see one or two small groups serving together uh, one alpha evening. The Lord has indeed done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. But this psalm is also realistic that it isn't always like this. Restore our fortunes, Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them. There are times when we are full of tears and weeping rather than laughter and songs of joy. But notice that those are often times of sowing the gospel seed. You don't see any fruit when you're sowing. You have to sow in faith, and you may well be watering the seed with your tears. Nick and a few others have been faithfully sowing the seed in Burford for many, many years, and with many tears. But eventually there was reaping with joy. And I have no doubt that many of you here in Cheltenham have been doing just the same. So let's laugh and sing for joy when we see the harvest coming in. But let's keep on sowing as well. As I said last week, good, good seed in good soil always produces a bumper harvest. God bless you today.